Hello everyone, welcome back to the Doing It Is channel. Today we are going to count fixtures in G. So fixtures allows you to set up the environment to a known state so that we can run our test repeatedly and expect the results that we expect. So one main reason to use fixtures is to maybe insert records to our database table. So for example, we can say, I want to see when I go to the thread route, I want to see a particular thread in my thread, threads index. So to do this, we can simply create a fixture that inserts a thread to our test database and then check if we see that thread title or body in our thread uh, index page. Okay, so let's get started by creating a user picture so that we can insert some user, user data to our user table. Uh, I have installed the E2 user module. Uh, I have run its migrations and configured it both for my test environment and my web environment. So I have done a module user and done a model map. Model map, and I have done the same in my test.php configuration file. Okay, I have commented out this identity class as well. So, the model map user, I have uh, removed all the default code that was there, and I am extending the dictionary user module to my user class. That's it. Okay, uh, I have made also made a migration error, not an error, actually, it's a typo. Uh, I have used create at not created at and updated at keys column so I changed those in my migration so this is not the proper way of updating a migration but for now I did it this way so make sure to drop the tables uh, drop the database and pre recreate it and run the migrations again also make sure you run the user migrations first before you run your migrations so that the user table will be created before you create the thread table all right so let's start writing our first fixture. So I have created a folder called fixtures in the test directory and I have created a file called user fixture. I have added a namespace of fixtures and uh, use extend uh, use active fixture. So active fixture is something that you use allows uh, much more functionality when you want to insert records to uh, to the database. It's a uh, SQL uh, database. So for example, if you are having a NoSQL database, you have to use MongoDB Active Picture or Elasticsearch Active Picture. Uh, but uh, using a test Active Picture because we have a SQL database. Alright, so first we create the class and extend from Active Picture. Then we want to tell E that which model this user fixture represents so app models user is the uh, model that i want this fixture to use okay so now we have to insert we have to store uh, our data to insert to the data, test database so that goes in the data directory so user fixture and in the same level you create another folder called data and then you create a file called user.php this should uh, be the name of the table. So I have user PHP, which is which is for the user table, and thread.php for the thread table. So let's go look at this user.php file. So I have two records, user one and user two. User two. I have created the array for username, user email, password hash. All these columns. These should, these are columns. So in our test database, forum test. In user, we have username, email, password, hash, auth key, all that is there. Okay, that is the data that we are going to insert. Okay, that is for the user fixture. Now, I am going to create a thread fixture. Why do I know the thread fixture? Because I want to see if I can see if I can see a particular thread in my when I go to the thread index page that is what the test is there for I am saying I am grabbing the thread from the file that I have created and I want to see this thread's title in a TD 
that is my test just make sure everything works by running it so how to run it uh, do code set run it's a functional test so functional and thread test okay a user can see thread yes a user can see the, this thread in a td because we are in the grid so this is a td okay now let's go back and look at our thread fixture now same thing as the user picture i have had a namespace and a uh, use the active picture and the model class is the same now the difference is this thread fixture depends on user picture why because we need to create the user table before we create insert data to the thread table so we want a user insert to the user table and then create a thread for that all right so this depends on user picture so this by when we when we do this uh g is smart enough to run the picture first before it runs the thread picture okay let's get into the thread dot php file in the data directory i have thread one thread two these are aliases for these two records so thread one is this thread two is this all right Okay, I have added the user ID, so that's why we need to run the user picture first and the user another user ID. So we are creating two users and each user has a thread. Alright. Now the fixtures are written. Now only thing you have to do is use them. Okay, in the thread test functional test, I am this is this uh, fixtures function that we can use okay this tells which fixtures to load so when this thread test class uh, function uh, test is running it we are telling that load this fixture okay so what this function has is an array that has an alias again thread is an alias and we are saying the class of thread fixture class name so i have imported this thread fixture right up here okay now I have created a function a user can see thread and I am grabbing the threads fixture and this thread one represents right this record okay so the title the title of this thread is my first thread I am checking in my test that this thread title is I can see this thread title all right that is the test so let's run this again and it passes that means I am grabbing the thread uh, thread from the fixture and checking if that I can see that in the browser all right so that is fixtures pretty simple and it is very powerful you can always create the database that you want and insert the records that you want this way using fixtures all right you learned how to use fixtures in your tests all right that's it see you on the next lesson have a good day take care bye